to take questions. UNHCR was looking very urgently uh, for a place where she could find asylum. Uh, we were involved in those conversations, as were other countries, and Canada was glad that we were able to act quickly and to offer refuge to a refugee at the request of UNHCR and to offer refuge to a person whose life was in danger. Mademoiselle Adnan, the oppression of women is not a problem that can be resolved in a day. But rather than cursing the darkness, we really believe, I believe, in lighting a single candle. And where we can save a single person, where we can save a single woman, that's a good thing to do. I think that it was handled the best way that we could. The fact that she was being able to be processed so efficiently and brought here to Canada is a good news story. She was, that's the, the key takeaway here. This is someone who was clearly in harm's way, who clearly felt her life was threatened. And my colleagues in concert with governments in Thailand and Canada recognized that need and determined that the case was urgent enough that she was brought here. And I think that that's kind of the most important takeaway from today. I can clearly understand how people think this might spur copycat cases, but ultimately it still boils down to every individual case. There may be somebody who goes on social media and says that they are, you know, that makes this kind of claim, but they may not fit the parameters for this kind of urgent emergency resettlement. <laughs> Of her. She's had a really long 